rolling. Okay. Uh, the reason I wanted to do this is because when I met Tom, uh, a lot of things came up for me. Uh, I was a very young kid, and they wouldn't let the Indians come into my school, and it was a public school. And I decided, okay, if they're not going to let them come in, I'm not going to come in too. And my mom and dad thought, what, what's going on here? And then my dad told me, he said, you know what, I'm going to go down and talk to the school and see in fact, because we lived right across the street from a family, an Indian family. And uh, so he went down and talked to the teacher and said, I don't understand why you're not taking in uh, the, young, the young, young Indian children. And uh, there was just one teacher in the third grade that said, yes, I think we should. And that was when I was in the third grade. And uh, so she decided, okay, I'm going to be the one that's going to start this and allow the Indian kids to come to the school. And she did. And I felt like, oh my gosh, and I, when they first came to school, they were scared. And so I decided I'm going to be the one that's going to go and help them get around and, and see how they can meet the other people and so on. And it worked out, and I can tell you, I sailed that third grade. I just sailed it. But guess what? The principal made me fail and said I couldn't do this. And it hurt for a while, and I'm, I went through a, a second, third grade. But by then, the teacher that I had really loved and liked understood what I was doing and trying to do. And she let the, the, the Indians come to the class. And we sat in kind of a circle, and she was great. And I was like, Yahoo, I did it. So. It was, it was really important, and so the Indians, if they were got to be in the films, I thought this is going to help too. So that's been my life for a long, long, long time, from the third grade to this point. That's all I can say. And in addition to that, before she went to college, they didn't have the money, so she had to work, and she worked as a deputy county auditor, and part of her job was handing out when the natives came in for their food, they'd get dehydrated uh, eggs and flour, etc. She would give it out, and her later brother-in-law, uh, when I first met him, they sat down in the tavern and told me how they used to follow them in their wagons out mm -hmm. in town, and, and then they would stop them, and they would take the flour and they'd cut it open and pour it over their heads and say, now you're white. Well, all those things that she had were in the movie. Yeah. And uh, so these all happened to her, and that's when she got her chance to finally do what she started to do in the third grade. So to finish up this beautiful interview, if uh, you're in heaven, the supreme God, whatever, what would you like him to say to both of you? Provided, I mean, let's say you're in there, you get to walk in there together. What would you say? I mean, what would you, what would you think he would say to you guys of your life? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I think if I was there and he was okay with all the kind of Indian people and all, all the others, I'd say, well, this is nice, because I'm really going to have a good time with all of these people, so that's all I can say. But I, I just don't think that if there is a real, real person in heaven, and we've done these kind of jobs, I just can't think that they would be anything more than just great people. That's my thing. I have no idea what I would. What do you think? What do you think that supreme being would say about you? Like, good job, Tom. I hope he would say a good job. And more than a good job, I hope he would say that we lived out what he created us to live out, mm -hmm. and what 
we became and learned the incredibly difficult way to learn to love. It's so easy if you love someone to just have a tiny annoyance may become a big issue. To really love, that would be incredible to say that we did, did the best we could and we, we're now finally got there. We know how to love, because that still is what I seek most to learn how to do, to love people, to love, to love. It's tough.